when you have lemons, you have to make lemonade. Uh, if this job is going to be being built, uh, there are going to be contractors building this jail. Uh, that means that there is opportunity for prevailing wage jobs, people who live in the community instead of being housed in this jail, giving them an opportunity, whether having to uh, be, uh, uh, get job training skills to get an OSHA card, just to be able to gain access to the work site, what have you, um, I believe uh, that we should be doing things to uh, strengthen our workforce. I believe that we should be doing things to work on youth development as opposed to building jails. Expanding the jail in order to fit more people who may or may not have committed a crime, that, that's unacceptable. The fact that we're investing you know, tens of millions of dollars to expand a place to throw people in a hole when we could be giving them jobs, we could be you know, providing <coughs> outlets for them, we could absolutely you know, expand our parks, expand our community services, get them off the streets, find them ways to express, them, to express themselves in this city. Because I know, unfortunately, most organizations don't hire felons. But most of these people, all they did was make a mistake once in their life, and now they're locked up for years and years, and their resume gets thrown out immediately. I'd love to see a program where we could get these nonviolent offenders to work positively towards the city, so we can get every single person out of the jails and back to, to society. Thank you. The provision of jail is called education. We've been cutting education in this city. We've been cutting the after school program. We've been cutting community. But our answer is to build a jail, a new jail. I say no to the expansion of the jail. We need to regroup and understand how to engage and help our young people, middle age or senior, and like some of the panelists here said, prevention. That's what we need, prevention. Not jail, not expansion. And on top of that, we need education. That's the jail. Um, we need to downsize uh, this, this jail coming up. Um, we do need a new jail. It's inhumane. The jail now is not any place that you want to be. We do need a new jail. It needs to be downsized. We need expanded mental health and addiction recovery programs, and we need to break the school to prison pipeline here in the city of Poughkeepsie, because that is what's feeding that jail. So we need to work on all of those things through our Exodus program, through our SNUG program, through changing our school district and, and putting all of our energy into our kids. That's what we need to do, but we need a humane place where people who do screw up and do end up in jail can be in a place that they can have programming and is safe and they can get mental health and addiction recovery in jail. I wish they could get it outside of jail, but right now, that's what we've got. So we've got to do this for our people. Uh, Josh Simons. Hello. Well, this might not be a popular opinion. We do know we need an expansion of jail. Uh, I was the one that did the statistical analysis for the uh, needs assessment. I disagree with the current plan. They ended up uh, putting more beds there than uh, is necessary. Um, it was difficult for me. I support alternatives to incarceration completely. And still looking at the numbers, you could not expand the alternatives to incarceration enough to handle the current jail population. Moving forward in the future, that needs to be reduced. And how is it reduced? Education. It's reduced through addiction treatment, mental health treatment. It's reduced by actually having courts that can process a case in a timely fashion. But that's not where we are right now. Thank you. Truly, that wants to uh, build a larger jail. And we need to put that on Albany and the Commissioner of Corrections, who insists that uh, the that Dutchess County build a new jail. Uh, the second thing is that we have a room full of Democrats. Let me say that until you can get a majority of Democrats on the county legislature, you can say whatever you want, there's going to be a jail bill. So mm -hmm. from um, the Democrats' uh, standpoint on, on this matter, we are pushing for those things that, that Perry mentioned. Uh, we don't need individuals with mental issues or drug addictions in our jails. That's not the place for them. But what we need to do in this new facility is make sure that those programs exist within <coughs> the jail. 